Hello, my name is John Davidson and I teach math at Southern State Community College. Um, I was asked by a member of the computer department to uh, do a set of videos introducing the binary, octal, and hexadecimal systems that are uh, commonly used in computer science. So um, here we go. Uh, I'm going to make this a four-part uh, video presentation. And the first part, this part, I want to uh, remind you of how we work in our base 10 system, our decimal system. And so, um, let's look at this number right here. 3,247. So, you learn, when you learn about numbers, that this is a sum of a numbers. It's 3,000 plus 200 plus 40 plus 7. And so, each place has a value assigned to it. This is the ones place, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. Well, 3,000 is 3 times 1,000. 200, of course, is 2 times 100. 40 is 4 times 10. And 7, we we'll just think of that as 7 times 1. So, here's where the, where the decimal part comes in, the, the base 10 part comes in because each place value is a specific power of 10. And so 1,000 is 10 to the third power. 10 is, a uh, 100 is 10 to the second. Of course we have 4 times 10 to the first. And um, 7 could be thought of 7 times 10 to the zero power. So we normally don't write you know, 10 to the zero anywhere, but you might recall from algebra that, that a number raised to zero power is equal to one. And so, if you look here, you see the descending powers of exponents, third, second, first, and, and zero. And because it's based off powers of 10, we call it the base 10 system. Now, it's easy to see where that came from. You may know this, but because most of us have 10 figures, um, it evolved that we, we like to use 10 as the basis for our, our counting system. And it wasn't until, um, oh, about a thousand or so years ago that people hit upon a place value system. It became rather, rather useful. Uh, there are other systems developed in ancient times. The Babylonians used 60 as a power. And based on their influence, this is why we have uh, 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. 24 hours in a day, 24 is two-fifths of 60, <laughs> is a nice fraction. Anyway, those, uh, those, those types of numbers uh, came from the Babylonians because they used 60 as their basis. Um, we used 10. All right, uh, now, a couple of, couple of things here. The, uh, I always like to point this out. This uh, kind of resembles something you might see in algebra, 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 10, oh, I'm sorry, plus 4x plus 7. And so a polynomial in algebra is a base x number. <laughs> okay. So, I uh, don't know if you ever thought of that before, but uh, it's a base x number. And uh, anyway, we uh, typically use base 10, of course. But in computer science, it's uh, because of the way um, computers are a big collection of, of switches, on-off switches, then it, um, it turns out that uh, it's, it's useful to know how to work in the numbering system that makes sense for computers. What makes the most sense for a computer system is the base 2 system instead of base 10. So computers think in terms of powers of 2. I'll introduce that in the next video. And, um, and that turns out for us to read these numbers, and they're very long numbers, they can be, rather, in base 2, we can kind of shorten that by learning about base 8 or base 16, called octal and hexadecimal. All right, uh, one other comment here I'd like to make. If we had a number like, um, let me switch this, this 2 to a 0, then this would be 0 which is 0 times 100, or 0 times 10 squared. So 
One of the uh, major innovations in mathematics in ancient times was the creation of the number zero. It, it was not, um, not a very intuitive thing to come up with. Uh, the ancient Romans didn't have a zero. I'm not sure the Greeks did. Anyway, um, but when you adopt a place value system, then we fill in the missing places with zeros. And so um, that's kind of useful to know also. All right, um, I thought of something else. How do we count in base 10? I know you know how to count in base 10, but let me, let, let me, let me cover that because it's, it, uh, it's relevant to how you learn the other base systems that we're going to study. So in base 10, it is comprised of the numbers, uh, the, the digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 10 digits, counting 0, that's your 10th digit. There are 10 digits for base 10. In base 2, there are 2 digits, 0 and 1. In base 16, hexadecimal, there are 16 digits, going from 0 through, I think it's F, is the last digit. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that in the other videos. But um, what happens is, when you run out of the digits you're allowed for your system, then we go to two places. And we just, yeah, we we're trained to think of that's, that's called 10. That's the number 10. Well, well 10 is 1, 0 in the base 10 system. And uh, so there is no digit for the number 10 in base 10, uh, just like there's no digit for the number 2 in base 2, as you will see. And so we start recycling our numbers by creating a new place value. Then it goes 11, 12, and so on. Anyway, um, I think I'll leave it at that, and uh, let's go on to, to the base 2 binary system.